on this video, I will add Docker to our UActix template. As always, the code is open source and free for commercial use. Before Docker, people had to stay after hours at work, order some pizza, the Domino's mega deal, call now, and run shell scripts by hand that were supposed to copy binaries and configuration files to the servers. The shell scripts broke all the time, usually leaving the systems in a bad state. This is fine. Causing partial outages and many tears amongst developers. <laughs> One of the problems was that the computers that developers used to build the software were fundamentally different from the real servers. Different operating system. I'm Bill Gates, chairman of Microsoft. Libraries, locales, and all these variables caused issues. Docker creates a file that contains all the dependencies that your application needs, including the operating system. So no more libc errors. Let's add Docker to our template in less than six minutes. I'll start by adding a makefile to our project to define the high-level commands that we want to support. We want to be able to run tests, start containers, stop containers, and build our containers. We will fill in each of the commands as we write our Docker compose file. We start by defining the YAML version, the Docker Compose syntax changes significantly from version to version, so be careful with this. Next, we define our services, so UUI and Actex API. We bind the directory with the source code to the container so that we do not have to rebuild it every time that we change it. I need to specify which Docker file or image to use to launch the U service. In this particular case, we need a custom Docker file because we need to install trunk and friends. I am using the latest Rust Alpine image. Next, I installed trunk and added the WASM32 target so that we can build our application for the browser. Let's install Cargo Watch so that Cargo can rebuild our application when the code changes. We specify which command to run when we start the container and we are ready to run the application. Let's see what happens. Notice that I'm using the relatively new syntax for Docker, where Docker com compose is a subcommand of Docker, then specify the Docker file that I want to use, and then the command, in this case, build. Here, I try to start the thing, but it wouldn't. Then I realized that I should have used Docker file as opposed to context. It took me a little bit to think through this one. Here, I'm fixing the path to the U app. Finally, the thing compiled, but I have to add an environment variable specifying the Actix port that we want to connect to. All right, so the build looks green, but if we try to pull the application with the browser, it doesn't work because we need to expose the port from the container to the local host. The last step for the use service is to change the IP address that trunk binds to. Let's use 0.0.0.0 instead of 127.0.0.1. This tells trunk to listen on all the network interfaces. Fantastic, the UI works. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's retrofit our make file with the docker compose command that we came up with. Notice that I replaced the last part of the command with up, down, and build respectively. And I'm just testing a little bit to make sure that the commands work. Moving on to the Actix API Docker configuration. So here the job was easier or so I thought. I tried to just copy paste as much as I could from the UUI. Here I'm, test I'm changing trunk for cargo watch, so you have to escape the quotes. Setting up some environment variables. Changing the port. And I was done, or so I thought. I had to add the, um, the custom UI host because you potentially want to be able to customize that variable 
using environment variables. We use trunk surf host to configure cross origin resource sharing uh, on the server side. So it's important to remember this. Then I decided to create a Docker file for the server so that I didn't have to install Cargo Watch on the UI and I will install it only on the server side. I used a different version of Linux for the server because I had a lot of problems when trying to install Cargo Watch on an Alpine image, but only for the server side for some reason. So I said, okay, I'll just use Debian, whatever. Then I said, okay, I'm done. So I decided to kick off the build and I said, hold on, I never used that uh, trunk serve host variable. So I just fixed cores to include this. I waited for the compilation to end. Then I checked the website and I got a course error. And I was like, why? Why will I, I get a course error now? The problem was that I set trunk serve host to UUI as opposed to localhost. And when you're making the requests, you are making them from localhost, not from the UUI container. So after that, I just waited for the compiler to spin a little bit more. Finally, after a few false starts, we got both services to work and I can reach them from my computer. So let's move on to the tests. For testing, I'll use two docker compose run commands. One to cargo test the UI and another one for the backend. So here I'm just verifying that the command works for the UI and if it does, then I'll just clone it. Uh, to use it for the back end. So, yep, it works. Clone the command, change the container name, change the directory name, and we're all set.